Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So I know it's just two days later, but I've managed to rank 35 gray as well. Um, it's been a little bit of a grind. I've honestly been playing a lot more ladder in the last few days than I have in a while. I have hit my personal best. Uh, I'm a little bit tilted right now, but I have hit my personal best. Um, so we're going to show you guys some gameplay of gray. We're going to show you guys basically everything we did in the last Chester video. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Uh, with that being said, let's just hop right into it. So a little bit of a breakdown of the brawler. This one is really unique. Gray, it does a lot of pretty interesting things. So first, let's talk about the gadget, Walking Cane. I mean, this one's pretty simple. I don't think anyone's going to use this when the next gadget comes out. The next gadget, imagine it's like a Primo Meteor. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it before, but it's even bigger. It basically just breaks open the entire map. And that's really good when you're having someone like Gray on your team and you're facing tanks or something, you know, great shots aren't the very easiest to hit. You guys can see it's kind of a really weird shot animation. But if the map is open and you pair it with some teammates like Ruffs or B or Cole or Piper or anything got an open map, it's definitely going to be a really big threat with that other gadget. But Walking Cane essentially does the same things. It kind of just pulls back the enemies, breaks a couple walls. Uh, but I don't expect this gadget to really ever be in use once the second one comes out and then fake injury right now is out when gray has full health the next damage taken is reduced by 25 percent i mean that's pretty good it's kind of not really noticeable i didn't even know what it was until i started making this video and i was like oh so that's what the star power was um so the star power and gadget right now are a little bit underwhelming so i am expecting gray to be even better than it is at the moment but right now i do really think it is a top 10 brawler maybe borderline top 10 it's a little bit difficult to use but the teleport is just absolutely broken. You guys are going to see, we're going to make a lot of really interesting plays with the teleport. There are a lot of times where if someone is low, let's say someone is like 3k HP, since your shot does 1.7, that just makes them two shot. You can just TP right onto them, auto aim twice, and that's just an easy kill. Now for new players, this might be something that, you know, doesn't really calculate that fast. But when you're someone like me or someone who plays a lot of ladder, or just plays the game a lot in general, you can calculate really quickly in your brain when you can go in and when you can't. And there's really nothing you can do to stop a Gray from just fully teleporting on your face and just auto-aiming you twice. So that is going to be really broken. A tip is if you're close to someone, you want to get right onto them. You don't actually have to aim your super because you can't aim at a distance. It always goes one fixed distance. If you auto-aim it, it can go shorter distance just right on that person. So I'd be a little bit cognizant of you know going right on top of somebody but you can do that if you do want to uh but yeah that's enough talking let's just hop into the games and let's show you guys how good this brawler really is all right so here we go into the first game we're gonna be doing gem here and gray i mean gray's probably a mid uh i think when the piano comes out it's gonna be really good because you can kind of just open up the map oh my god that's what we can kind of use this gadget for for now Gonna pull him a little bit toward. Okay, maybe that wasn't the strap, but opens it up a little bit, keeps him low. We should be able to finish off the kill. So they do have a bell mid and a barley lane. So when I do get my TP, it's gonna be really good. Again, we're just gonna break walls, and that's just it's just a broken play. I don't know. You can just go on to someone whenever you want and just auto aim them. It is not very fair. But anyways, we got to try and get these gems back somehow, so. It's not looking too good. Sand. Oh, I think he can get that kill, hopefully. Okay, he gets the kill. They got seven, so hopefully I can make, like, some type of TP. Play with Gray, and then get the gems like that. One, two, okay. Alright, so we're going to be able to kill the gem carrier at least. I don't know how we're supposed to get those gems, but at least we got the kill. YOLO. Alright, I think that's going to work out. Because hopefully Nerf can just grab the gems or sands or someone. Alright, it's looking like it's going to work out. Going to use the TPs. So there we go. There we go. It, it was kind of a weird game. I mean, they do have a pretty good comp game. It's definitely not over yet. Um, we're going to get a kill there. Okay, so a little bit of a weird game, but we do end up with the win. Again, a lot of like really game-changing plays that you can make with Gray. 
But yeah, there's the first game. Let's hop into the next game and let's try and keep it rolling. All right, so we insta queued this Brawl Ball game. So we should be facing someone pretty decent. They also have a Gray. Uh, they also have a Chester. So on Brawl Ball, the Gray, the Gray TP, I mean, it's pretty crazy to be honest on Brawl Ball because you can make some really nice scoring plays with it. Uh, I'm just going to try and break a couple walls just because our comp is really nice at broken walls. Going to be able to make a really easy play there. Sand's going to do a little bit of BM. Get that ball in the net straight away. So we're looking pretty good here. Start off. Hopefully we can make some Brawl Ball plays so you guys can see something cool. Sands wants the ball. We'll make a TP play for fun. TP Sands back. And just like that, it's kind of like a max dash dribble. Oh, it's Gurkis and Code Ash. All right, let's run back one more Brawl Ball because that one was kind of fast. But you guys can see it's really strong here. It's really good. And again, the gadget, it just kind of breaks walls. The piano one that comes out is just going to do that, but like times 10. So it's just going to make this Brawler way better. It's honestly going to be pretty scary. Let's hop into the second game and keep it going. Okay, so Sand switched it to Controller Chaos, and which is Hot Zone, and we insta queued. So we are getting insta queues here, which is pretty crazy considering we're at 1150 whatever. Going to just get that wall break. I almost go down. So you guys know how Chester is at close range, and I guess we did pull it close to us. The more open, as you guys saw from the last video against the Chester, the better. Not letting it get close to you is exactly what you want to beat it. That was kind of wild considering it was on his last shot. Oh, ah, almost make a good play. We're not going to be able to. Unfortunately, the spike is winning the right side here. So maybe we got to help out our boy Nerf. Sands trying to hold it down over there on the left. I'll probably have to hold this. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we're looking better. I think it's about a tie right now. I don't know. I don't know what super... Oh, okay. We're going to be able to juke that. Two over here. Hopefully we get some help. I think Nerf got us. We're just going to be able to get a kill over there. Where is the spike? I don't know where the spike is. I'm scared I'm going to get ran at. All right, he's over there. I two shot him right now. So one, two. And we're going to be able to just get right in their zone. And yeah, things are looking pretty good. So as you guys can see, this brawler is actually really good. And we're facing a lot of other very strong brawlers. So you guys can kind of see the true. All right. I hate when it does that though. When the portals go down but you die, I don't really understand exactly how that works. Because if it's going down, shouldn't you be able to teleport? I feel like that's how that should work, but oh well. Uh, hopefully Sands can hold this down. We only need five more percent on the left side, but they only need 14 more on the other side. So kind of a close game to be honest. He's gonna miss that. I think that's gonna be game right there, honestly, since he missed that. All right, thank you, Sans, for hitting that. But yeah, that's gonna be game, so GG's to these guys. That was a pretty tough one. So let's go back to the Brawl Ball for the final game. And, oh, we keep getting a lot of high trophy, guys. All right, let's go to Brawl Ball for the final game. Hopefully we can win the last one. And yeah, let's see if we can go four for four. All right, so here we go into our final game. This is really the true test because we do not have the DPS to take these guys out at all. So if we can beat if we could beat this, we could really beat anything. Um, BB's gonna run straight at nerf there. Oh god. Okay, my my cord messed up. Sometimes the auto aim does that. I don't know really why, but it does. Um, so we're just gonna try and keep this Buster low here. Maybe I can make a sneaky play. Kind of want to try it, but I think I would throw if I did. So we're not gonna go for it. We should be able to get this kill. We will be able to. Just try and get vision on the Chester. Gonna break this. Oh! 
close. Okay, we were close to making a dribble play there. That Chester was ready for us, though. And they just have a lot of damage. So this is going to be really... Or not damage, health. Well, they have a lot of damage, too. But it's just going to be really tough for our comp to beat, to be honest. Please don't have the bomb. I think we are pretty screwed here, to be honest. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one. We will not be getting out of this one. Well, the BB will score. That's not very nice of this BB. So I guess we're going to have to try a little bit harder. Oh, not the shield. All right. I don't know why I clicked auto aim. All right. Well, there you go. You guys see the weakness of gray, I guess. It cannot really beat the highest of HP comps. So we're going to tilt my gray one game below rank 35. But at least you guys get to see the weakness of gray and you guys get to see some losses. So uh, that's going to be it for the game today. I guess we're going to do one or the video today. I guess I'm going to do one more game just to untilt my gray. But appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. I'll be back again soon. Peace. Hey you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best, the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.